Hi, in uh, this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Fiddler extension, which decodes a base64 encoded header and displays it in a uh, JSON viewer similar to the existing JSON viewer in Fiddler. So first step is to open up Visual Studio. And we're going to create a new project. Uh, we're going to create a class library. I'll call it uh, decode base64 header. Since that's what the extension does. Okay, the next step is to add the uh, required references for our extension to the project. So I'm gonna go here and click add reference. Uh, now normally you can click uh, browse and navigate to these. Uh, I've already done that for Fiddler, which is gonna give us the Fiddler namespace. And then because we're extending the JSON request um, inspector which comes with Fiddler we're also going to also going to use the standard DLL which you can see is in the Fiddler 2 inspectors folder so add both of these and click OK and then because our inspector has uh, GUI or Windows forms controls we're going to, need to add that reference as well so we're going to open up the object browser and just Search for Windows Forms. We'll go ahead and add that one. So you can see on the right we have Fiddler, Standard, and Windows Forms. Okay, now we're going to uh, set up the project with the correct settings. And from here we're getting this information from the uh, Fiddler documentation. So. Uh, you can see we have a post build step which is going to copy the DLL output into the Fiddler folder. Uh, this is the folder Fiddler will look at in order to know which extensions to load. Okay. So, so here we're pasting in that uh, path and now the, the path in the documentation was for a script, but because we're creating an inspector, we're actually going to change the scripts folder to inspectors. And I'm going to change this to documents and click OK. Uh, we're also going to change the debug to start an external program, and we're going to tell it to start uh, Fiddler which is uh, C, Program Files, Fiddler, and Fiddler. Okay, and it's basically so when we press F5, it can uh, start Fiddler, and hopefully our DLL will be copied and we'll be able to debug. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, rename the default class. We'll just name it something more semantic like decode base64 header extension uh, yes we'll also rename the, the class okay now we're going to kind of paste in the template code that uh, they suggest on their website so it's uh, very important that you have this uh, assembly required version if you don't, uh, I believe you won't be able to debug. Uh, we're actually going to use, I think, 3.3. .3. Anyways, I guess the version doesn't matter for us right now. Um, and then we can get rid of these other using statements. Okay. And now if we go back to the documentation, right now we're on the template down here with I auto temper but we're actually going to be building an extension so we need to implement a different interface so we're going to go to the other documentation on the left here called build custom inspector and you see they have uh, base class inspector 2 and I response inspector 2 
Uh, so let's go ahead and copy this. And we're actually going to build an inspector for requests. So we're going to use uh, request inspector 2. And I'm actually going to take this newer version here for the assembly. That's the one I meant to get the first time. Okay, and now you see it's complaining because we haven't implemented all the uh, required fields and methods for the interface. So we're going to add those. And I've already built this extension, so I'm going to copy it over from the existing solution so I make sure everything uh, works. And I will mm, go through and explain what all the code does. Okay, so we have to make sure we add our standard namespace, and we also need uh, the Windows Forms for tab page. Okay, and now it's complaining about our decoder class not existing, but we'll create that in a second. For now, let's uh, go through what the code does. So the body is what's going to be shown in the body of the inspector, and we are reusing the JSON request viewer, which came with Fiddler in the standard DLL, and that class is sealed, and so we can't extend it, so we're going to uh, make it a member and then try to take all of its implementation and reuse it. So you see we just reuse the body that it has when retrieving, and basically uh, the core of our extension is these uh, four lines right here where we're saying when we're setting the body let's make sure to decode the value of the header first and then assign that to the body instead and we're kind of taking advantage of the fact that that json request viewer knows how to um, take the byte array and make it this nice uh, expand and contractable uh, viewer for us instead of us having to write all that logic so the read-only flag, again, we're just reusing the state of the JSON request viewer. Uh, same thing for dirty and for headers, it's just passing them through. Um, for the tab, we're basically creating a new instance of this, uh, adding it to our tab, and then saying the name of our, our tab here. And these is all defaults. Uh, when we clear our extension, we're just passing through to the JSON request viewer. Uh, same thing here. So it's kind of like a, a wrapping inspector, if you will. So next, we're going to add our decoder class. Um, let's go ahead and make this uh, public. And I'll copy in the code here. So this is just uh, one method called decode, which you saw the other thing, the other class, and takes in the headers. It looks for if the particular header of interest exists. If it does, it converts it from a base64 string to a byte array and then returns that so it can be used by the JSON request viewer. Um, and obviously we haven't defined our constants file, so let's go do that. going to make this a public static class and use the same variable name from the other file and if to remember the base64 and data is actually a string of JSON so I just chose a header name which is easy for us to remember header J or JSON data um, and obviously we're using Fiddler so we can control the request we don't have to make it match anything all right so at this point our extension should build it should add a tab named decode header uh, to Fiddler and we should 
be able to send a fake requests and see it work. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to actually set a breakpoint on line 24 so we get to see this in action. So we're going to demo actually debugging. So here we press F5 and it should copy the DLL, open up Fiddler, and I'm going to go to the composer and I have a request saved here. You see this header at the bottom called x-json-data with some base64 encoded JSON. I'm going to execute it and you see the request over here. And we have our new tab on the right called decode header. Now when I click it, it's going to execute our inspector and we should go back to Visual Studio. So you see we have our headers. If we step into this and you'll see it's checking. It said the header exists. I uh, get convert it to a byte array. I'll press F5 and return it. And you see I just had uh, foobar baz, another nested object, A, B, and C. And we can work with it just like JSON we would work with in the body of the request. So now we know the extension works and the DLL uh, was copied. And in fact, if I open up the inspectors folder, uh, you can see decode base64 header DLL was copied to our inspectors folder. Uh, we're going to take this a little bit step further and create uh, an installer project that will do this for everyone so we can distribute this. So let's manually delete. Oh, I have, we have to uh, close Fiddler first. It's being used. So close Fiddler. Let's open that folder back up. Luckily, I have it pinned here. I'm going to delete that DLL so we know it's it's not there. And now we're going to add a new installer project. And this is an extension to Visual Studio. Uh, you see here, um, you can just download this and it adds new project templates to Visual Studio. So here we're going to add a new project. And we're going to add a Visual Studio installer. We'll just call it uh, decode base 64 header installer. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is change the properties. It comes with a default. Uh, we'll just put my name here uh, for my manufacturer. Let's put, uh, I don't know, we'll just call it decode base64 header. This doesn't really matter. Um, we'll go ahead and say remove previous versions. And I think that's it. All right, so the next step is to specify what this will install. So we're going to add a new special folder. This is going to be the user's personal data folder because we're actually copying that DLL into uh, users, my documents, Fiddler 2 inspectors. So here we're going to add Fiddler 2 and add inspectors. And now when we add a project output type, we're gonna say take the output of the other project uh, and copy the DL to the specific folder. So in these settings, we have to select the folder we want the DLL to go to, and we're gonna use the inspectors folder I think all the other settings are okay. Okay, so now we're going to build the installer project. Uh, 
that's good, it was successful. So we see inside the debug, we created the uh, MSI. Now let's uh, open up another folder so we can see this. So you can see the Fiddler Inspectors folder is empty right now. And if I run Fiddler and send a request, you see we don't see our decode header. Let's go ahead and close everything. Now let's run the installer. Uh, we'll go ahead and install it for everyone. And it's going to complain because so, there's no publisher. It's not uh, trusted. Go ahead and trust it anyways. And you'll see now it copied the DLL into the inspector folder. So when we launch Fiddler again, we now have our extension loaded. When I select the request, go to inspectors, and here's our decode header inspector. So there you have it. You created a custom inspector that extracted a header into a byte array reusing the original JSON request viewer, and we created an installer so you can distribute your extension to other people. Thanks for watching.